Hey guys, Chaz here from Puglisi Speed Shop with your FXR exclusive Tuesday morning tech tip. All right guys, here's a tech tip I'm pretty sure Kevin will get behind. Because it's got to do with FXR. So here's my 91 FXR, right? And if you have a 91 or older FXR, there's your oil filter, right? 92, they moved it up forward, way better design. This is known as one of the biggest design flaws on the motorcycle, but I mean, you get to frame that sexy, eh, you know, you got you gotta, you gotta give them a little bit, you know? So, where's where the problem lies? See that, the bolt in there, it's a little corroded, so it kind of stands out. That is the single bolt that holds in your oil filter housing. That's left-handed thread. So, make sure you know that. Now, there are some that have been modified. Maybe they might have a right-handed thread, but from the factory, left-handed thread. So, it shakes like crazy, and the filter comes loose, and it fell off. Mine fell off because, well, I wasn't paying attention. So, it came off. So, trying to get that thing back on and start this bolt... Proved to damn near be impossible without pulling the starter. Didn't really want to do that. Or pulling the wheel off. And I didn't really want to do that. So what I did, I held the housing with my left hand. Got the bolts in there, right? Screwdriver right in here. And I just kind of... It grabbed a bolt. It finally started, right? Remember, left hand thread, so I'm pushing it, right? Kept doing that. Got maybe a turn on it, if that. Then I tried everything. So I figured, oh, I'll get this guy, right? The little reach ratchet. Too bulky. Angle's not right. Another reach ratchet. Angle's not right. This one was too bulky. This one didn't even do anything. Not even close. Figure this guy because it's so thin and it's long, but because it's so thin, they made it wider here for strength. And when you get on it, you can, that's all you got, nothing more. So um, I tried from coming from the back here, right? If you look back here, below you go what, below the horn, above the swing arm, there's a gap, and there's a video. It's the only other video I found on this that it comes in from the back and you can the same thing you know can flip it get another half turn whatever i couldn't do that with this because of how thick this was so that didn't work for me either so after i started with this guy like i said <laughs> cheapest wrench i got like harbor freight looks at this thing and they're like dude this is trash but these cheaper wrenches, Harbor Freight's guilty of it also, but it's not as precise in here, right? The fit, the fitment. So you got a little bit of play. So I was able to get a little bit of play, get it on there, flip it, flip it. Did that for, well, what felt like the rest of my life, but it worked. That thing is in there, good to go. No problems. Before I did that, though, and I probably should mention this first, I put a little Loctite on it because I'm not trying to keep doing this. But that's it. You can you can re reinstall the entire bracket without pulling a starter, without pulling a wheel. Probably took about 20 minutes, maybe ish. My it's worth it, in my book. All right, guys. What did we learn this week? For me, I learned something that, that Kevin has been trying to instill in me probably since I met him, and uh, that's finesse. So I'm real good at over-torquing stuff, uh, breaking stubborn bolts loose, all that kind of, you know, manly type, whatever. Um, and I do, I do have finesse. I mean, I, you, you can't be a mechanic, especially you guys know... But I'm an aircraft mechanic by trade. So 
you can't do that without finesse. Well, you can. I actually know people that do. I don't know how they have jobs, though. But be that as it may, um, yeah, that's what, was, that's what was needed, was a little bit of finesse. You know, I was, I was skeptical about pushing that bolt, but I, I, was, I was out of ideas. I tried everything else. So, um, and it worked. You know, you just gotta, I got to, and then just take your time, take your time, right? And that's the key, man. Like, um, you know, drilling out a screw or, or, or any of that kind of stuff, retapping a bolt or what, you know, that little kind of, you know, technical type stuff. That's what you gotta do. You gotta, you gotta take your time, be gentle, you know, and use that finesse. Um, another option I should have taken, or could have taken rather, is um, kept an eye on the oil filter. I did notice it was kind of loose and I was like, huh, I gotta check that out. And then what I do, I took it on like a 60 mile poker run. And when I did that is when I came back, it was hanging. So um, luckily it didn't strip out. It didn't break a line. It didn't rip a hose or all of those things can easily happen. So I was really lucky. Um, so that's why, you know, maintain your stuff. Keep your eye on everything. Do your checks, right? I mean, you know, you get your license to tell you check this, check that. Right? How many people really do it? And I don't. None of us do. We all got, especially, you know, we went, we did an episode of this before. We got lights in the cars that tell us when stuff's messed up. We don't got to check it no more. You do. Well, this is a 91, so I should have been doing it the whole time. But no matter what, that's what I should have done. Um, but I lucked out, and uh, I'm glad because I do have another housing. However, who would want to? You know, you still got to do the same fishing and ending there, you know, so that was English, I promise. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what I learned, finesse. Sometimes Kevin's right. Thanks for watching, guys.